Welcome back to the Raven, Legacy of a Master Thief. I'm Mislid, as you know, and we are going to go find some more guilty people. I know you've noticed that I think everyone in this game is guilty. I have accused the inspector, I've accused Officer Jerkface, I've accused the doctor. All of them. Except the stowaway. I haven't accused him anything yet. I really think the doctor is guilty of something. Um, I did go back and check. I was saying before that the doctor is the person whose champagne glass we drank. That we got, you know. What's in this? No, don't. Like, look at it. These little sachets contain the evidence we've collected. At least the evidence that fits in little sachets. What's inside it? You're not going to tell me. Okay. Go like that. Anyway. Um... So we we're questioning like, who gave us the drink. We know the captain gave us the drink, but that captain did get that this from the, the doctor. I knew I remembered that correctly. Foot in. Let's go check out this murder scene and find a way for the Baroness to be a suspect, even though she's dead. It's like fake dead because she's in on it with the doctor. What? All right. What do we have in here? We have a cupboard we can search, and a blood stain, and a vase, and a portable cupboard. And some wine that I can't look at. A notepad. Mannequin. Luggage I can't look at. Another vase I can't look at. Hourglass I can't look at. And a painting that I probably can't look at. And probably has like an Andy Dufresne hole behind it so I can climb through. And some hat boxes I can ignore. And okay. Start over here. Work our way around the room. The most unportable portmanteau I've ever seen. It is rather large. It's got wheels, though. Check it out. Open it up. It's in there. W what do you see? A portable see? bar is more like it. As I'm talking it about... It must be hard work transporting this big, heavy thing halfway around the globe. It's James' the problem. The was lucky that the other freight cars were only lightly damaged by their explosion. So, where's Any James at in all this? Peace. Have we but seen him recently? get me anywhere with the murder investigations. But you need a drink. You're dealing with a dead body. Come on now. Let's look at this notepad. Guess my left is a clue. Hmm. The notepad has the ship's emblem on it. I suppose all the first class cabins have them. It does make some sense. Oh, can we do like an etching? Yes, there we go. Is there anything on this thing? Oh, wow. It's very clear. What? So she knew there was a murderer. Uh-oh. How do I get out of this scene? There we go. How do... Do I have to get like every little bit of it to get out of the scene? Like, let me go. There we go. Good grief. Is they read the message and played with it for a while. Be in the saloon at 10 p.m. There is a murderer on board and I will expose him. I know, I had like 60 seconds to read it after we'd already done it. The Baroness seems to have known the murderer. And that means that the Raven can't be the murderer. He never killed anybody. That doesn't mean that at all, actually. The message, otherwise he'd have said something. But she said that you're going to meet at 10 while she was drunk. Come on now. See this blood stain right here? You notice how she was shot in the heart? And if she'd been laying down, the blood stain would be up here. I don't know if that's important or an oversight, but I'm going to make note of it right now. Mannequin. The mannequin surely came with the cabin. A mannequin for the Baroness's clothes would have a more generous figure. Or for you. Just, you know, saying. 
So he goes painting. Sunflowers. By Van Gogh, I presume. He liked to paint that sort of thing. Can't be an original. They cost thousands of francs. Thousands? For an original Van Gogh? That, no. That's not... Uh-oh. I mean, I guess thousands. Yes, that's true. Right? Like, you know, BMW costs dollars. Okay. Some underground here? Look under the bed. Something's under there. Hmm. I know, I saw it. Down feathers. Maybe from a quilt or a pillow. Nothing special. Or the so, raven's sister. It seems like one of the feathers was scorched at the top. Literally burnt. What? Hmm. I'll take it with me. Good plan, good plan. All right, what's over here? What was back this way? Anything that I can look at? Here we go. Got some luggage. Got a menu. Got same luggage. Examine the porthole. Look at that in a minute. Oh, they're all the same. Okay, let's the get a list. Face the side deck. Right. If someone climbed out of the cabin through a porthole, Legrand and I would have seen them. Oh. Well, it'll be like that then. Let's see the luggage. Apparently, the Baroness didn't have time to unpack her bags. She was drunk. Rather, didn't have time to tell her butler to unpack them for her. Where is he? Hmm. Sifting through all that would take ages. It's one thing. Right here, the Baroness's it's, hand. It's like a hat box. It's all that's there. Look at that. It's hat box in the bag. Take ages. How slow are you, old man? So we have a diary a or something? A leather-bound book. 1964 is engraved on it. This must be the Baroness's diary. Alright. So there's handbag some more. A handkerchief. Okay. A spectacles case. Nothing special. Alright, I kind of want to go back to that diary in a minute, but, but, we'll do it now. Let's since we're here. See. Since we're here. Hate to disappoint anybody. Yes, it's a diary, alright. Oh, that's a one hand. That's amazing. Difficult to read. Why? You got sloppy no handwriting? Entry from yesterday. The killer was James. A brief, sober description of what she's done recently. Met Morris. Arranged benefit concert for renovation of Louvre Southeastern Wing. Times photo shoot for Eye of Sphinx. BM. Poor excuse for photographer. Too fidgety. And so on. So is BM the hmm. photographer's name? This entry looks strange. Or was it the hers? The writing is shaky. Difficult to read. Dreamt of Bobby. Yesterday would have been his birthday. Next week, Jay's. Hmm. That's harsh what you got in there. The Baroness was a very busy woman. And it looks like she had to cope with the loss. She writes about Bubby and Jay. Neither seem to be alive anymore. Almost every family lost loved ones in the war. Maybe hers as well. Take I'll it. Leave it there. Oh, come on. I don't have time to read all of it. She's like prying to a dead woman's life. Nothing creepy about that at all. I just look over here. Look at this blood stain. And yeah, so look at this cover first. Yes, I'm avoiding the blood stain for now. I get to it. I didn't forget that vase. Well, I did until just now, but I remember it now, so don't worry about the it. Tape recorder must go with the built-in speakers. Probably part of the cabin's furnishings. I forget this is like an old timey game until I see stuff like this. So, get some more. Tape recorder is older than the hills, but it was once very expensive. Top of the range, and it doesn't come cheap. Uh, that is what top range means, mm. usually. Strange. Yes. There's only one real. That is strange. Where's the other one? It's the wrong one. No. No sign of the original real. The wrong one for what? I don't understand what you're saying. So a real it. made by Zeibling. I know the brand. Okay. Zeibling's tapes can be overwritten many times without losing quality. That's used handy. In offices so that executives so can record the murder for the secretaries on the same tape over and over again. But they're not good for much else. They're robust, but they don't offer much in terms of sound quality. Maybe that's why it's the wrong one. 
because the right one would have a high quality sound coming out of it because it's a high quality player. Let's pretend that's what he meant. He might check the notebook later, see if he made a notes big, to himself. Ugly and impractical vase. If it had a wide Look inside opening, it. one could at least use it as an umbrella stand. Hmm. Look in there. There you go, good man. What'd you find? Can't see anything. What? That'll work. Wow. Heavier than it looks. Turn it upside down. More feathers. Aha. Is there a dead dove in there? Down to like goose feathers though, wouldn't it be? More feathers. And they're singed as well. How did they get burned? I'd better take it with me. Good plan. Good, good plan. All right, so we looked at that. We got the recording. Examine the bed. Which I got this blood stain. Blood on the mattress. Oh, yes. The sheet and the blanket have already been removed. To analyze them, I suppose. Tell me about this blood stain. Come on, notice that the height's wrong. Mmm, nothing. And that it's like the blood's going this way. Look at this. Look how the blood's going. The blood spot is the only sign that someone committed a crime in here. Hmm. Somehow. It's wrong. Get it right, come on. That's odd. Yeah, there The blood is so red. Oh. Shouldn't it gradually darken in the air? Turn brown? I told you she wasn't dead. Doctor's in on it. Doctor's so guilty. Doctor is the so guilty. The blood could be something that Legrand and Dr. Gebhardt missed last night. That's right. Oh. Cats are gray in the dark, as the saying goes. I should take a sample. I do that. The unusual. Or do I have a way to? I don't know how to take a sample. What take a sample with? I don't know. I can still examine the vase. What's up with that? Why were the down feathers tossed in the vase? Or is there anything else in there? Oh. There may be something else in the vase, but the neck is too narrow to reach in with my hand. What? All right. What else? have we got that it's gonna let us keep looking at can I keep look I keep looking at this but getting nowhere right the unusual right it's fine what's up with this is that why is that sideways like that I can't look at anything else over here or here I can't look at the porthole some more which I guess I'll do I feel like I'm missing something feel like I'm missing hmm. something the portholes are locked. One cannot open or close them from outside. It's the same problem as with the door. If someone left the cabin through the porthole, how did they lock it? And the Baroness wasn't shot from outside. The doctor said she was shot at close range. Fair enough. Anything else to say with that? No, it's gone. Okay. So I can't do anything with that yet. I can't get into the vase. Examine the alarm. Yeah, we didn't do that yet. I didn't check it by the ceiling. Are you stuck on the wall? What are you doing? Well, I did get stuck and had to restart. So I've gone through and, of course, hadn't saved anything. So I went through and replayed back to where we were. I believe I am exactly where, well, it's hopefully for you, like five seconds ago. And we were trying to look at this alarm. Let's try that now. Another alarm. It was tripped at some point. The seal is broken. But there's no way of telling whether it happened yesterday or five years ago. Seems like there should be an inspection date sticker on there somewhere else we got. What's that? Examine the lock the and chain. Okay. Was damaged when Dr. Gebhardt kicked it in. The real question is, why was the door locked in the first place? Maybe she was going to sleep. Like... Hmm. Assuming the murderer isn't a magician, and the Baroness locked the door herself before she went to bed... The All good assumptions. Couldn't have left the cabin through the door. So, the murderer must have still been in here when Dr. Gebhardt kicked the door in. 
which is unlikely because someone would have seen him, or he found another way out of the cabin. Hangs behind this painting. Oh, we can still look at that. Oh, I didn't look at that already. Shoot. Sunflowers. Right, we got a gold. An original. The okay. So I have looked at everything, I believe. Let's get out of here and see if we can hunt down, like, James, for example. Where is he at? Where is the butler?